Black Box Productions. Black Box Productions. Black Box Productions. What's up with your boy Tank, man? Everything he thinks stank on oh, my mama, my we should remove his input on the uh the Kodak Black uh situation out of the whole little uh scenario. Bro, everybody's is okay to be able to speak out in the public and say all these weird things about sexuality. We got to bite our tongue just about being normal. Man, homie, if you let a man do anything to you affectionate, you are gay, bro. If you desire for a man to do anything affectionate towards you or the vice versa to another man, you are gay. There is no line that, that they keep just line they keep trying to grab and draw it back this way. It does not exist. Y'all got to be careful because this is what most people don't realize. Living in a society that would change the rules that are as fundamental as one plus one equals two. And they'll change these rules in other areas because, of course, they're not going to change one plus one equals two. So they'll change rules that are just as fastened, just as fixed in other areas and it'll tweak your brain. And the most intelligent Normal parts of society would accept these new facts, new truths that totally go against and deny what we've been taught and what we believe and what we know are facts from the beginning of existence, such as the same educational institution and the same society that taught us the same language that taught us that perception and reality are opposites. If you go and look up, we do the word of the day all the day. Maybe we need to just make these the word of the day one time. Perception and reality, by definition, are opposites. Reality is what is actually going on, what can't be changed, no matter how you look at it, no matter what you feel about it. And that is just fixed. It's a constant. That's what reality is. Things that you have to face because they're reality. Perception, on the other hand, is how any individual looks at what reality is. It can be you can look at a, a a rock and for some reason you could perceive it to be a donut and that's your perception of it. It does not change the reality of the fact that that's a rock. So therefore, perception and reality are exact opposites. They stand on two totally opposite ends of the spectrum. However, now in today's society, um, I've heard a lot of people use it that are sophisticated, intelligent human beings, including Dr. Phil. The first time I got a whiff of it and why I was really able to make the correlation between them changing the fundamental basis of reality, because I went to a certain school that I also sent my daughter to. And at the age of 12, my daughter, uh, a young black girl in a private school, in Torrance, whom I went to the same school. I had a relate. The, the, the lady who was the principal was the principal when I was there. Now my classmates and a couple of um, my schoolmates who were a little older than me, who were her children, are now the staff members and the teachers. I have relationships with everybody in these schools that are impeccable. Um, I was a terror at this school myself and never was kicked out based on my relationship that I had developed with the principal. However, here it is, my daughter, 12 year old. Never had a fight. I had numerous fights at this school. I destroyed property. Um, I've done, I did a lot of things. Um, my daughter was having an issue with a, a young white girl who was the same age, but by appearance, my daughter was, was, was larger and would seem to have the obvious physical advantage over this young lady. However, some real little kitty catty situations had transpired to where there were two groups of girls pitted against each other. My daughter was at the head of one. This other little girl was at the head of the other. And it was obvious from, because when I finally was known about, made aware of the case, I went to school to meet with the principal. She had a file that dated back months prior where she's been keeping, like a police file, keeping track of all the incidents that took place between all these little girls dating back to months before where she never let me know about this. She was keeping a, like keeping a record on my daughter building the case. And it all boiled down to this. Went to this final meeting. I had my daughter write a letter based on this, the, the principal's um, advice 
to, to get reinstated, which I hated. I regretted it so bad. I wish I never had to write that letter the way that shit ended out playing out. We sat in this room, and they told me, regardless of all the facts that we all could agree upon, my daughter was going to be expelled, not suspended, expelled from school based on the theory that perception is reality, meaning we all agree. We know that this other little girl not only started this, but it got to a point where this little girl perceived my daughter as a threat. We all knew my daughter meant her no harm was not going to hurt her. But because of the way this little girl perceived her as a threat, therefore, her reality was my daughter was a threat. They expelled my daughter and they told me it's because perception was reality. Now, here it is. I hear Dr. Phil use that phrase. I hear so many supposedly sophisticated people using the phrase perception is reality and the way society is once you keep hearing it from so many people you just start repeating it and i want to let you know is if they could change perception and reality from opposites to equals to make them synonymous then they could change anything this is where you can get this big transgender and um a movement to be just forced upon you they want to change your perception now, I don't understand if we are all agreeing that perception is reality, how come it's not fair and just for me to be able to perceive that activity is unnatural because you guys also are the ones that taught me what natural was. It was not me that dictated in the emergency, I mean, in the delivery ward of hospitals, they have two primary colors, pink and blue. There's, that was not a misjudgment of humanity that came up with that system. That is generally the way it should be. Anything that transpired abnormal to that does not change the base format of what is. It does not change the fact that if there is something uh, reoccurring on a regular basis that is not normal, does not mean that it was. It's, it did not get put in effect by things that may not be natural either. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to, you know, shit on nobody, but uh, tank stank and everything. <laughs> he uh, thank. And if I advise you, if you around him, don't hit the drink. On oh, my mama, period, point blank. That nigga say he could love Cherie and Hank. That don't work. That's like saying niggas to go to the pen. They could do whatever. And then still maintain a uh, heterosexual relationships with their women on the yard. Come home. You ever heard of a medicine called Travada? It's a commercial come on all the time on my mama mama. And it's like, it's Travada. It's a HIV medicine. But they got these homosexual men on there saying, this is the testimony they're saying. They're saying, this is the, this is the backdrop of the commercial saying, Ooh, they be playing with their life, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. That asphalt is like a million and oh. You ever seen asphalt against skin <laughs> and bone? My mama, mama. But anyway, uh, they got a commercial for a medicine called Travada, I believe. And the dude is saying that my doctor tells me because of my lifestyle, I am at a high risk for contracting HIV. And he's obviously homosexual, and he obviously referring everybody on the commercial seemingly is. So I don't know why we would be wrong to infer that there's a connection between that type of lifestyle when even the people participating and the experts that's trying to control the epidemic are all stating it right over the television. Oh, my mama, mama. That's crazy. They already changed the bathrooms in Chicago to gender, gender neutral. Shame on them. Shame on them, man. On oh, my mama, my, my, my. Putting that puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned.